PFIT fam and triathlete fam and endurance athletes, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are struggling with having enough energy and endurance to complete long runs, long bike rides, long events like triathlons, um, then this video should have some helpful tips for you about some supplements that can help improve your performance and your endurance and your stamina. There are many supplements out there that can help with that. And it's important to know that supplements are a huge part and especially nutrition. Nutrition with a little bit of supplementation are key uh, for any endurance athlete. Really improve their performance and get better at their sport. Um, nutrition and supplementation play a huge role in addition to training specifically for that sport and doing straight training because those things can really give you the edge in endurance, in providing energy, in providing stamina. There's so many things you can take to help improve that performance that you can't get from just training alone. So two of those that are um, really helpful and that I just used in my triathlon that I just did a few weeks ago and that I will do uh, in my upcoming triathlon that should be in about a month um, and any others to come. Two of those supplements are electrolytes and beetroot powder. Um, so I have two from a company called Ground Based Nutrition. There you go, electrolytes and beets. So they sent these to me to review. They were kind enough to send it pre-triathlon so I could use it during my training to test out as well as during the actual triathlon and then I still have some leftover that I continue to use because I like them. Beet juice has been shown to really improve performance and stamina, especially in cyclists. And there's different studies. Pretty much everything says it at least has some little impact. It may not be drastic, but it's one of those things where if you can even get a little bit of an edge, you want to take it, right? Plus, it's good for your heart. It's um, it's a nitric oxide booster. Um, it's good for blood flow. So it's good in general for your heart to be consuming beets and um, beet juice. But to consume enough beet juice for it to actually have an impact on your performance, you'd have to drink a ton of it to the point where your stomach is going to be full and bloated, um, and you're not going to be able to run or swim or whatever you're trying to do. So the powder is the best way to take it because it's a condensed um, concentrated form so it looks just like beet powder so that makes it easy for you to take just dump into some water and take as is so this one is a black cherry flavor which I really like because beet juice by itself is not the best taste in the world um, so this has a black cherry flavor which makes it taste much better this one in particular is fermented um, which means it's good for your gut health. It's a much more pure form, so it's not going through all kinds of processing. It's just a natural, um, great for your gut kind of product. Um, it is organic, so it's, I like this brand because it is organic. It's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's all those things. So you're not putting junk into your body. You're putting in a fermented, clean product to help you with your performance. Um, so this for a scoop is 20 calories and it has 5 grams of fermented beetroot. Um, and then again it just has stevia basically to sweeten it and that black cherry flavoring. And with beetroot um, you basically want to take it about 2-3 to three hours before your event, your competition, or your long ride, or your long run. And that will help to improve your stamina and your endurance, help to open up uh, the blood vessels and increase the blood flow so that you're getting more blood and more nutrients and more oxygen into your muscles to help keep you going. Um, you can also, it can last up to about 12 hours, so I've taken it many times where I took it like the night before a long bike ride or competition, and then again in the morning, <clears throat> and you can kind of stack it and build it into your system for a few days. So I actually took this for two weeks leading up to the competition, and then I had it the night before as well as the morning of. Um, you, you definitely want to experiment with it because some people have some stomach issues with beet juice. Um, so you just want to test it out before you actually use it in like a triathlon or a marathon or something. The other great thing to try is electrolytes. I think most people at this point, if you're into endurance sports, you know electrolytes are important because they help to keep you hydrated. Um, they help to keep these essential things like calcium and magnesium um, and sodium and potassium in your body so that your muscles can properly function. So it helps to, it helps with things like muscle contraction, muscle relaxation, re relaxation 
Um, and it helps, again, kind of similar to beets. It helps just improve your performance. It helps to keep you hydrated. If you're even like 1% dehydrated, your performance decreases drastically. So it's super important, especially if you're gonna be sweating a lot. It's a hot day, it's a long race, and you're sweating to keep those things in your body um, so that you don't bonk or so you don't hit a wall or your, your blood pressure doesn't go through the roof because you're losing all of these key nutrients. So electrolytes can be really good um, to have uh, during long intense workouts, during a race. So I use these, um, I put it in both of my, or I put it basically in all of my water bottles. So in one water bottle I had like my amino acids and carbohydrates for energy. And then in my other water bottle I had electrolytes and more amino acids. Um, and a little bit of caffeine. So I made sure to put these into both my water bottles um, to make sure I had enough electrolytes to keep me going. Um, and then I put a little bit into my little water flask that I use for the run um, at the later portion of the triathlon just to make sure again that I'm keeping enough um, important nutrients in my body. Um, so this one in particular, it's 25 calories for a serving. Um, it's got all your key electrolytes, calcium, magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium. And then it also has a hydration blend, um, which is coconut water powder, banana powder, these are all organic, um, organic pineapple powder, Himalayan sea salt, organic tart cherry, um, and so, and then it's got a little bit of stevia for sweetness too. So I'll link their website down below so you can get more information on these. Again, completely plant-based, organic, vegan, gluten-free, all the things um, you could possibly want. No artificial, no artificial flavors or preservatives or colors or things like that, which is super important because so many supplements are full of like sucralose and aspartame and red number 50 and all kinds of weird things that you really don't want to be putting in your body and which are actually going to hinder your performance over time. Um, so these are great. It has a very coconut water flavor to it. Um, this one is pineapple coconut flavor anyway, and then that coconut water, which has electrolytes in it um, that adds that taste. So if you don't like coconut, you're probably not gonna like this flavor. I like coconut water, I really like the flavor of this. Um, and I still use it sometimes for just days where I'm a little bit dehydrated or just want something in my water to make it taste a little bit better or I'm just feeling a little low on energy. Sometimes I'll just throw this in with some amino acids into a water bottle. So I use it both for competition and for long uh, bike rides, like when I'm going on like a three hour bike ride as well as just from time to time in my water bottle. So these are two electrolytes and beet powder, two very helpful supplements for you. Um, if you are doing anything like marathons or triathlons or any long endurance race, or if you just like to do those things for fun, um, these are really good things to um, have pre-workout, like a beet, the beet would be like a pre-workout, and then electrolytes to have during your exercise uh, to help keep you going, keep your stamina up, keep your energy high. Try those out. I highly recommend this brand. Um, I like the flavor. I like just how organic and clean and pure these things are and that it's all natural products that are in here. Um, so I'll put their website down below. Um, I'll also link to where you can find their products on Amazon as well if you want to use that. Um, and then if you have any other questions about supplements or anything like that, please let me know. I will also link down below to a blog that I just posted about my triathlon that I did last month. Um, and that has all the other supplements that I used, everything that was in my water bottles, all of my pre-race nutrition, all of my intra-race nutrition, and all of that in case you're wondering what some good ideas are for how to eat. If you want more information on what I did for a triathlon based on a lot of research, um, I will put the link to my blog down below as well so you can get a lot more details on other supplements that can help you improve your performance. So if there's anything else you would like to know, please leave comments down below. If you try any other supplements or like to do other things for your races, add those down below too so we all can learn together. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And until then, good luck on your fitness journey.